Let's look at one law, the law of logic. One of the laws of logic is the law of non-contradiction, right? Yeah, that's John, John cannot be here right now no, 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 and not be here right now in the same way at the no, same that's time. True. That's true. And it applies no. universally, yeah. right? So there are distinctive yeah, laws. Right. The laws so this, no, these ones I wouldn't deny, obviously. Okay. Laws of logic. Just, but just, the problem is going to be if you have formed a dodgy concept yes. which doesn't correspond with reality and then use logic on it, yes. you'll end up with a fallacious answer. I agree. But what, yeah. I'm, what I'm saying and is... Like, there used to be a fellow up here always asked, what happens, where does the wind go when it's not blowing? Okay. That's, that's fine. But again, let's not reduce down to absurdities. Why I'm well, saying... No, it's not an absurdity. It's, it's an indication of a false concept. Yes, but... Because there isn't any wind. But let's, let's agree as to what we can agree about. Now, we agree that there are laws in the universe. We agree ah, no, wait a minute. You said you agree with the law of non-contradiction. You do yeah. agree with the law of non-contradiction. Yes, yeah, and these There's the laws of physics as well. These manipulative uh, laws okay, but allow you to manipulate symbols and concepts. But what were they actually... Yeah, I wouldn't say they manipulated it in Well, that's way. what logic they, is. If, no. no, no, but we're, we're talking about the laws which govern this universe, right? Now, we perceive them, obviously, as human beings, but they're definitive, they're unchanging, they're universal, right? For example, gravity, we know the law, we know the, yeah, laws, yeah, right? yeah, we know, right. we know the laws of logic, we know the law of non-contradiction, we yeah. know these things yeah. apply, yeah. and they're there. We know the, that the universe of mathematics is inherent, we can understand yeah. it, right? Now the question I want to ask is, how on naturalism or materialism can we account for one, a rational mind, and two, a rational universe? How can we count? Well, I don't know. I don't know because I, mean, I don't. Uh, have so do you see much why? I was, do you know why I asked the question? Yeah, because you say it's got to come from somewhere. No, no, there's a reason. Because on naturalism, what we say naturalism, what we say, if you reduce down to the foundations, all that everything is a result of is blind, random, physical processes, right? This is what everything is the result of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, how out of irrational, blind, physical processes do you get a rational mind and a rational universe? No, well, we don't know that they are irrational. They can't, they're not anything. But you, we've just rational said, things are things John, that our mind John, let's be consistent. puts together. John, let's be consistent now. No, no, no. They are just, if it's a law of nature, it's just a law of nature. You're Come not going to say it's... Come you know, on, no, no, because John. it suits you too well to say it's John. a rational law. John, we agree. Because then you can say, oh, we are a rational <laughs> mind then, you know. Okay. The two work together. Here's the thing. We agreed that the mind is rational to an extent. To and an we defined extent. it, you agreed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We also agreed that the universe is rational, intelligent, right? Meaning that there are distinctive laws. They are, <laughs> there is mathematically coherent. There is supposed fine-tuning in the universe. There yeah. are these things that exist. Now, when I ask you the question, you can't backtrack now. You have to, try. and I'm not saying I'm not no, saying no, give no. me a direct answer. I'm saying think about it. Let's well, see yeah, what, right. what conclusion do you come to? What That's why I'm interested. Conclusion I come to. Why as from to why? Of irrationality, do you get rationality? How? Listen. Forget the why question. Let's address the how question. How do I? I don't know. This is the big problem. This is the big problem. For naturalism, at least. For sceptics. For naturalism, or materialism, or sceptics. Well, I'm not saying I'm a naturalist or a sceptic, but I mean, okay. I'm a Do you have any? Do you have any inferences that you can make to, to this phenomenon that we, we observe in reality? Not really, no. Because of rationality? Because I don't know how much is there and how much depends on your mind. I mean, mathematics, numbers. Are they something to be discovered or are they something that we impose on nature? Okay, I would, as far as numbers are concerned, I would, I would argue they're not something we impose because they're not a subjective relative entity. They're, they're absolute in a sense because we know 2 plus 2 is 4, right? And we know mathematics yeah, works. Are they out there to be discovered and if so, mm -hmm. where? Well, here's the thing, we have discovered them. <laughs> well, we have discovered them, yeah. And we use them. Oh, yeah, no, they, give science, they give us good exactly. answers. Exactly, they give us yeah, very good answers. I know this. Now, the thing is, again, it goes back to the question. How out of irrationality do you get rationality? Do you get a rational universe? Do you get immaterial, if you like, entities, abstract entities such as numbers, which are absolute? Do you get yeah. laws, which are definitive? How do you get these things? No, no, I know what I do. Really, quite honestly. I wouldn't have an answer. 